What's up everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com. I wanted to show you something. I'm cleaning out my garage for the move. And uh, I found these cameras that I've been hanging on to for quite some time. And they're all the analog uh, cameras. And I thought I'd film taking apart one of these because they're pretty darn cool. And uh, I didn't realize how these functioned until I took one apart. So I was going to tear one down for you and show you what I think. Uh, show you what's in here and show you something kind of neat in here. I didn't realize how these function, so stay tuned so you can see how the imaging actually works on this. Pretty fascinating. Uh, I should have known better. I should have realized possibly what was in there, but I just didn't know. Really quickly, I want to show you. I've been out here cleaning all day. I currently have a heater right here. It's got a giant flame on it. You can well, you can't really see it, but you can see it on the side there. I got a big old flame, lots of heat, and yet standing this close, it's still really cold. Most of you who have uh, normally seen my little temperature over here, let's just have a quick look. Yeah, it's about 33, 34. That's, that's not too bad. But, uh, I've been out here all day, so it's pretty cold. So let's do this. Let's tear this sucker down. Fascinating little, uh, device. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Panasonic is probably one of my favorite companies. Don't ask me why, except for the fact that I use their products and they, they just work. The camera I'm using right now is actually a Panasonic. Uh, the model number is HDC-TM90. Love it. Love it. No time lapse. I'm going to just tear this down. Show you what's in it. Plastic cover. Pretty simple. I'm recycling everything. So, uh, everything has a bin. So, let's see what's what's we got here. So, we got some electronics. First of all, we've got the power in the back and the ground and a power switch and then your analog signal out. There's a focus mechanism screw right here, which is actually a, a bar down in the bottom of that thing. And then you've got the camera focus up here on the front, and the zoom, and it's actually close as the iris as well. Um, so there's what you got inside. Some electronics. Now, I opened this up and kind of thought, well that's interesting, I see a, uh, a tube socket down there, like a like a video monitor, like an actual CRT. Oh, well, that's interesting, so I'll keep tearing it down here and see what we really got inside here. It's uh, <laughs> pretty darn, pretty darn cool. I should have known some of this stuff was like this. I took apart a scanner that ran the same way, but just uh, not really paying attention. I am going to take the lens off the front. This is the first thing that I went, huh. Well, oh, I blew on it, but there's your lens. Let's see if we can do anything in there. There's, let's see, if I hold it right, you can see the iris close. There you go. And then I have no idea if this will actually focus through here, but. Yeah, the other one is the the other one's the focus. I have been keeping these lenses. I got three of them now in one different style. So I've already taken these all apart, so I kinda I know they come apart. Oh, I was gonna show you the first thing is I took the front off and this is what I saw inside. Uh hmm. Looks like a different type of imager than I've ever seen before. Uh let's see if I can find a date on these. I will give you the data description since I didn't really do that yet. There's the information. If you'd like to look it up yourself. Uh, it just says 24 volt, 60 hertz, 11 watt, output video, 1 volt, peak to peak, 75 ohms. Alright, so continuing on here, I'm going to tear the... Uh, Cut the strip off the back. Like I said, I am recycling all this. 
so it all goes in a certain spot. Alright, so uh, there's the bottom cover. Ain't nothing really to it there. I need to get you guys down a little bit more, huh? Alright, so the back has a uh, has a switch on it. And looks like my uh, yeah, I can unplug those for you. Instead of tearing it apart. Okay. There we go. The only wires that are connected, not by plugs, is this grounding wire, which is a screw. And then these power wires coming from the transformer are actually soldered in, so we'll cut them off. Alright, so there's the basic unit. And in the back, it's got a couple of grounds that are screwed on. Alright, before I get too far, that that focus mechanism back there in the back, it's basically a, a brass rod connected to a, a, a gear up here, which actually pushes this device where my thumb is at in and out, if you can see that. Yeah, I done, I done moved it. Interestingly, this is a solid piece of brass. That's kind of nice. I got four of them now. All right. Uh, so on the back thing here, we've actually got a chip. It's a D three eight nine. Not quite. Not quite sure. It's a transistor of some kind, I guess. It's using it as a as a heat sink there. And you've got the. Going to the transformer, you've got power coming in from the block. Pretty simple. I haven't been saving those switches because they're probably corroded. So, pretty simple video input, power switch, nothing to it. Set that aside. So, here's the goods you got a transformer in here, and then uh, the electronics. Ain't a whole lot really to look over in there, but this does pull apart like this, two piece simple connector it's got the focus and the stuff on the side um, H size, V size, V L I N so there's your settings on that one this is uh, target beam and focus okay target beam and focus yeah on a camera <laughs> okay so I got to this little jobby and I thought that's kind of different and I tried to get it apart. We'll pop the transformer out. I do save the transformers of course. So set the electronics aside. This is the good stuff. Uh, get zip tie off. Maybe. There we go. That's just a pretty simple way of doing a transistor right there. It'll be useful for something. Yeah there you go. E, B and C. Alright, so I got to this and I thought, well, this is pretty darn interesting. I tried to get to that screw down there and I found out that this pulls off or this was loose and I was like, what? Check it out. A vacuum tube. Actually looks exactly like the same thing you'd see on the back of a standard CRT. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Get that gear out of here. So I popped that off, unscrewed this. All right, and this is the the back. So there's a spring on there. And uh, this is just a piece of aluminum, so it goes in the aluminum box. I actually threw that screw in the wrong box. Oh well, didn't tell nobody. I usually keep all these springs too. All right, so the oh, that's kind of cool. Check it out. That's the unit right there. Alright. Huh. This is a set screw with a slot that looks like it's straight. It doesn't look like it's curved. It looks straight. I think it would be curved if it was a set of some kind. I pull that off. No, that's kind of different. That's actually a, a brass ring in there that you can actually move left and right. I don't know if it's got something special in there or what. It's a focusing mechanism. Then you've got the two standard focusing mechanisms here. 
and you've got this shielded thing and you've got a wire going to the end I was so confused myself I didn't understand it and then I oh I got it tight I'll grab another one that I took apart and I'll show you how it comes apart here so I'm gonna put I'm actually gonna put this back together and keep it as a whole unit in case I ever wanted to play with it everything's still pretty much set correctly so let me grab one that I've taken apart now this is a shielding material and there's actually a tube inside there it's a camera tube I didn't realize that they were tubes like that let me pull this one apart alright so here's the camera tube I just slid it out of there standard uh, standard tube plug on the back check it out if you can see the number, it's a 20PE13A Mitsubishi. This ring on the edge, you see right there, is actually where one of the high voltage wires is connected, I'm assuming, for the end. Or uh, a something different, I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure it's for a, a high voltage or a higher voltage for the electron beam. And um, so there's the tube. Now you're probably gonna ask me what what's behind this shield? Well I peeled one off. Check this out. This is all the focusing coils. That is probably one of the coolest focusing coil setups I've seen. It looks almost like a gradient coil inside of an MRI machine. If you've never figured out how an MRI machine works, check it out. It's pretty wild. Check out them coils. I'm not sure what the little circular thing is in there, if it's a thermal device or I'm really I'm really not sure what that particular device is there, but so yeah, so the tube is actually just housed inside of here. There's a little connection point right there where that hits that rim. So yeah. Really that's about all I really wanted to show you but uh, I thought that was pretty darn cool so I actually got four of them now I can really play with them if anybody thinks they want one to play with that they actually are going to use it for a serious experiment and you're willing to show your results I might even send you one just shoot me an email uh, check the description for a link to my website you'll find contact information on my website awesome and then you got the focusing device here which is Aluminum, which I'm keeping. All aluminum. Scrapping everything. Keeping all the steel. There you go. Nice chunk of aluminum. Goes in the aluminum box. Well, that's it. There's your breakdown. Uh, ain't much left. There. I'll peel that apart and do a number on it. Oh no, I lost my my cover for my stuff over here. Okay, well that's it. Russ with rwgresearch.com out here trying to get my garage ready to go during this move. Things got pushed back a little bit but still moving so I got a little bit more time to get stuff done but uh, I'm still on a time crunch. Very cool. Um, I took apart a scanner, an old like laser scanner like a um, shoots a beam out you know checks the barcode gets a uh, white or dark amount of light back into it and it was actually a vacuum tube and uh, I was very surprised to find this camera vacuum tube I just I've, I've never really I've never seen one cool I got a lot of different vacuum tubes but I don't have any of these so now I can put that on my list of objects I own I found one on eBay for like I think it was like 200 bucks or 100 bucks or something, but it, I don't know, I don't know if they'd be worth selling if anybody would actually buy one. It might be. I would have thought the camera would have been worth selling if the tube was that expensive, but I didn't find any online for sale. Don't mean nobody would not buy them. That is a cool set of coils. Now, while I'm at it, I might as well take apart the receiver. 
You pretty much saw the electronics of the uh, camera itself. There's a little high voltage portion there on the end. I presume it's the high voltage portion. It's all shielded. It must be high frequency anyway. There ain't much on the electronics really. But let's take apart the receiver. So that was the actual camera. I do have the receiver. I might as well film it. Let me grab it. Show you what it looks like. Probably ain't nothing to it. Probably pretty boring to be honest. Here's a receiver. This isn't uh, anything special. It's just a regular old analog receiver, I presume. Switches on it for which cameras? Three position switches. Monitor, auto, and bypass. That's cool. Oh man, all flathead screws. There's the back of it, just a bunch of connections. Let's pop it apart really quickly. And I'll just pop the cover off so you can see what's in it. It's probably pretty boring. Matter of fact, if I had to guess, it's probably just a boring switch. Analog switch. I'm making a video, guys. I might as well drag it out like I always do. <laughs> I don't do that on purpose, but I find a good way to drag stuff out, don't I? Oh! Oops. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, it was so boring. It's so boring, it wasn't even worth filming. All right. You hear that? That's actually my battery charger. Isn't that weird? Actually, I probably keep these switches. It's pretty nice. Three position switches on a board. I actually, I actually like that. The box would be worth keeping, but I ain't doing it. Scrapping it out. I ain't got room for it. Interval. Interval. Long and slow. I guess. L and S. Well, that's it. That was that was pretty boring. It's just an analog switch. Is all it is. Uh, I guess it doesn't automatic and non-automatic. Doesn't look like there's any ICs on there at all. Well, that's it. All right. Rest with RWGResearch.com. Trying to get my garage cleaned out, so I'm scrapping everything out here I can. I'm taking a lot of stuff with me, but uh, I did get the mill moved. I will be uploading a video of that. See, it's gone. Where is the mill? The mill's gone. It's over at my neighbor's. All right, peace out, people. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. You think this was worth doing or not? I thought it was. I, I never seen anything quite like it. Pretty darn cool. Really does remind me of gradient coils on the MRI machine. Check out how an MRI machine works. You guys will be amazed. You actually like flipping a line all the hydrogen atoms and stuff. It's whack to think you'd be doing that to your body and you're still all right. Supposedly it's safe. All right. Peace out. See you guys. Well, it looks like we were able to see what was inside that uh, Panasonic camera. So let's see what's inside this one. Look, this one's still brand new. Never been opened. Let's find out. All right. <clears throat> this should be a good camera. This is a new model. Let's see what we got in here. Nice packaging. Check it out. 
Got some documentation for industrial service. All right. Nicely packed. Very good. Let's rip this bag off. I don't even know why they put the bag on it. Just gonna take it off anyway. Looks like a pretty nice camera. Should probably plug it in and make sure it works, right? Sure, we'll plug it in and make sure it works. It's got a power switch on the back, power light on the front, video. Cool. Hey, let's see what's in it. Want to? You know what's in the old ones. Let's, let's see what's in the new ones. Let's see here. Nothing! It's a magical camera! What a joke! What? There's nothing in there! <laughs> it's a fake. <laughs>